Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I'm filming with a new lens. Let me know if you guys notice a difference in the quality, if you like it. Today, we have another Ikea video. These are actually my most requested and some of my most popular videos that I do. And I think it's because there are Ikeas all over the world. So it's a very accessible and also affordable option. My mission for this video was to scope out the new products that are arriving for 2020. They're in stores now. I was able to see so many things in person and show you guys what's new, what's amazing. And because it is the holiday season, the spirit of giving, I wanted to do a little giveaway for you guys. All you need to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel and leave any comment down below on this video and I'm going to pick one of you at random to win a $200 IKEA gift card so you can pick up some of the stuff I'm going to be showing in today's video. We're going to start in the store at IKEA. I will show you some things there and then we'll come back and I will share with you the things I picked out that I'm going to be using in my own house and how I'm putting them together. All right, we made it to IKEA. I have my shopping buddy with me. Say hi, Carter. What are you holding there? A laser. Carter has a laser with him. Now, we're doing a lot of walking, so I'm not messing around. Yay! I got my walking shoes on. Some of you will have seen this in the video I did with my mom. These are hotly contested shoes. Hello, so this is gonna be voiceover because there was loud music playing in the store. We're gonna start with this glass door cabinet that I saw in the catalog. It is even nicer in person. I think this would look great in a bathroom with a combination of functional items like towels and also decorative items. This bamboo organizer set I thought was really nice and functional for the kitchen. It has the glass containers that go inside of it and the bin itself has a handle on it. So it would go great in a drawer and you can easily pull it out if you need to. Your coffee supplies or even pantry items would work well in here. This stainless steel curtain wire rack is not new, but I did want to point it out because I thought this would be a great place to display your Christmas cards this season. We always get a ton. I never know where to put them. So this is an option. This is one of the new light fixtures they have. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. It looks a little bit like a rocket ship, but could be cute in a kid's craft room or a kid's room. Another item I was not so sure about in the catalog is this very industrial looking room divider. I personally feel that this might look better in an outdoor space. You can maybe get your vertical garden growing on this. This standalone kitchen island I like because it has this butcher block cabinet and tons of storage. It even has the storage on top. If you have a smaller kitchen, this is a solution that could work well. They also even have a smaller version of this, but you can cut your items right on here because it's the butcher block top. And I also even saw that they have a new little mini kitchen for kids. And this one is only $50. This is the new bar cart that they came out with, which is actually $10 less than the existing bar cart, which they did come out with these in new colors. These carts really can be used in any room of your house. I've used it in the bathroom to organize makeup and hair supplies. I've used it to even organize Carter's diaper and baby supplies. Now this rollout paper display has a couple different uses. One, you can do one of those really fancy cheese plates on a table spread. Or if you have kids like me, this is a great way to do arts and crafts and just make it really easy to pull out the paper and get painting or drawing. These little sweater rack organizers, I think we've all seen before, but I did like here how they have it for shoe storage. These are the new clothing racks they have, and they have it in the red and this kind of muted green color. This is a great way to expand limited closet space. So this is Ikea's new speaker lamp combination item. Very interesting. The price tag is a bit high. It's almost $200. I don't know if I personally love the look of it, but it is a cool idea. What do you guys think of this? This is a new wall art print. It's huge. I don't know if you could tell the scale, but I really like this. It looks nice, a lot more expensive than it is, and I like the vibe that it's giving off. They also now have these eucalyptus branches. These are very trendy. I have these in my house and the price is great on these. They're $5 at Target. This exact same thing is $9.99. If you're looking to put up a gallery wall in your house, Ikea has these pre-matted frames. They're only $15 each, which is such an amazing price. Frames can be so expensive. These are 20 by 20. 
This shelf unit I thought was an interesting combination between the wood and also the wire racks on the bottom so you can have some storage items more hidden down below and some things out on display. This is a new chair ottoman combo and the ottoman has a little hole in it that you can use for added storage. So I like that functionality of it. You could put a little throw blanket in here, but this rattan style is very in. You could always put a little cushion on top to make it more comfortable. And you can see here they have it styled with a little throw on top as a side table. So that's also an option. This is an extendable coffee table. The sides will go up or down depending on how much space you need. And there is the storage on the bottom. I always like a furniture piece with added storage. Going with the bamboo theme that I'm seeing all over Ikea, they have this tablet stand, which I think would be very handy to have in the kitchen if you're following a recipe. Ikea always has a nice selection of decorative trays. You could put anything on a tray and just make it look nicer and more elevated. In terms of bins and baskets, I mean, you could organize anything in these, but I did notice they had this wicker style in the larger bins and also in the smaller bins. This is something I forgot to pick up, but I meant to. It is a couch side tray, just so convenient because it wraps around the arm of your couch and it's a nice solid surface for you to put your food or drinks as you're watching TV. They also have it in the lighter wood color. This couch is not new, but it caught my eye because I realized it looks kind of like the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch, similar style, it has really good reviews, and was quite comfortable. Speaking of couches, this is the Kivik couch, the one that we have. I still really like it, but it's on Markdown right now for $200 plus dollars off. Need your opinion. I'm looking to get Carter his big boy bed. So this I thought was interesting because it's elevated and then he can use the space underneath to play with his trucks and cars. I could put a little car mat under there. The other option I like is this bed frame that is kind of like a day bed style and it has the storage underneath. So vote down below. Do you like the loft style bed or the day style bed? And how cute is this new bedding for a little boy's room? I know Carter would love this because it's subtle, but it has the cars and trains on here. They have several of these new mirrors with the light built into it, which is great for doing makeup and getting ready. It just gives you that perfect beauty lighting. And lastly, whenever you're in Ikea, make sure to stop by the as is section before you leave. There's some good options here that are already assembled and for a discounted price. All right, we're back here now. Now I'm gonna show you what I picked out for myself. The first thing, I am so, so excited about these. This is the new Tupperware that Ikea has. It is glass on the bottom and bamboo on the top. So in the spirit of trying to use more sustainable materials, this is a win-win because glass and bamboo are so much better for the environment than using plastics. Along those same lines, they have a lot of different options for drawer dividers that are now made in bamboo. And I did show this in the last video, but I love this so much that I had to pick out another one for my other kitchen drawer. In our top drawer, I use this to organize and separate our cutlery. In the second drawer in our kitchen, I'm gonna use these to organize all of my kitchen gadgets because you guys know I love my kitchen gadgets. All right, now this crazy looking hanger is designed for scarf storage in your closet. I wanted to try using this for Carter's stuffed animals. He has quite the collection. All of a sudden now he likes stuffed animals. So I was thinking I could kind of hang them in here and then hang this on the door in his nursery. Not only will they be off the floor, but he'll be able to visualize and pick out what stuffed animal he wants. Speaking of Carter, funny story, when we were in Ikea as we were checking out, I got a veggie hot dog and I said, Carter, do you want some hot dog? And he started freaking out crying because he thought I was giving him dog to eat. It was so sad, so cute. He did not want to eat dog. Now, I'm gonna give myself points for creativity on this. Ikea has this new adorable modular truck set that Carter open in the car he is obsessed with. But then I saw this box and it was speaking to me from the corner of the room and it said, Brittany, use me. And I'm looking at this and it is the perfect shape and size for tea bag storage. And you know I'm busting out all of my seasonal holiday teas. This is the perfect place to store and display them. And I love repurposing items that would have otherwise gone in the recycling. Another very exciting new find at Ikea. They have glass 
reusable water bottles, but it has the rubber grip around it. So it helps not only with gripping it, but if it does fall, it's less likely to break. Oh my gosh, wait a second, even better. I just noticed this. The bottom here has a filter. So you can actually make fruit infused water in here and the filter is gonna block any you know, particles or pieces of lemon or fruit from getting into your mouth. Staying with the theme of the teal color, I found these stackable bins. Now they've had these there before, but this is a new color option. These come in a set of three. They're like the Russian stacking dolls but they're bins. So my vision for these is to use them for Carter's toy storage. Specifically, little tip for any moms out there, I keep an extra little bin of toys in the car. So to him, it's like getting a whole new thing of cars and trucks. Then these smaller bins I'm gonna use for some of his miscellaneous toys that have lots of parts and pieces to them, like Legos and things like that. Now this next thing is the only thing I got that has plastic in it, but these brushes, are so amazing. But what I like about them is they have the rubber suction cup bottom to them. So you could use the brush and then just stick it like this. Is this even recording? Oh my God. You guys, with this new lens, I have to have the camera like literally 15 feet away from me. So I can't see anything that's going on. We have a bunch of options for closet organization and storage ideas. They have these drawer dividers that are made out of almost feel like wool. And these are perfect to put in your drawers to subdivide your items. Like this one would be great for underwear, socks, bras in your top drawer. This one I thought would work well even for jewelry, watches, accessories, things like that. They also have this set. I don't know if it's new or not. I personally hadn't seen it before because this set comes with six little cloth organizers. This I would put in my second dresser drawer and you could subdivide out your top. So you can put you know, your long sleeve tops, graphic tees, short sleeve tops, body suits and subdivide them within your dresser drawer. I would say in the top three best things to get at Ikea for organization, the glass jars. You can organize your whole pantry. You can have displays out in your kitchen or even in your guest bathroom. You can put little toiletries in here. But what I wanted to do is have a little display out of my coffee and teas because now that it's getting colder, I want a little cozy coffee station. And you guys might think I'm crazy. You can judge me if you want, but I love this freeze dried coffee that I get from Amazon. I know, look at the reviews if you don't believe me. So I'm gonna fill this jar up with my freeze dried coffee so it's just easy to scoop. This is gonna be part of Ryan's Christmas gift, but I got him this French press maker. It was only like $7. These things anywhere else are between 20 to $30. So he can have his higher end coffee French press made. I'm just gonna stick to my freeze dried coffee. And then the last glass jar that I picked up was this long skinny one that I'm going to use to put my Banza pasta in. The only thing with storing your pasta is you wanna remember the cook time on it. So I'm gonna put a little piece of tape on here and then write down the minutes that I need to cook the pasta so I don't forget. And last for the things that I picked up for myself at Ikea, gift bags. They had a lot of different options. They had wrapping paper. They had these gift bags, different patterns and styles. And they had these very interesting gift envelopes. I've never quite seen anything like it. So it's like if a gift bag and an envelope had a baby but they're pretty cute and different. All right, so that is going to be it. Between the things I showed you in the store and the things I picked up for myself, there's gotta be over 30 different options for you guys. So I hope you got some good ideas from this. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any comment down below if you wanna be entered to win a $200 Ikea gift card. You can let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that you saw in this video. And also, in case you haven't seen it, I've done an entire video all on shopping tips and secrets to get the best deals, to save money, to kind of beat the system there at Ikea. So if you have not seen that video, I will put a card for it here. Make sure you watch that one as well. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.